Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing another vlog style favorites video. The last time I did one of these was in February. I did actually have the intention to do one of these monthly, but I just never got around to doing it the last couple of months. So I figured it was about time that I did one because you guys seem to really enjoy the last one. Basically all that I do is I just go about my day and I tell you guys all about the products that I'm loving vlog styles. I'm actually not going to be talking about any makeup products today. It's pretty much all going to be lifestyle things. So I hope that you guys are going to enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and without further ado, let's start this vlog. So the first thing that I want to talk about is a hair favorite. Obviously my hair right now is very curly. Um, currently in my hair, I have two of my favorite curl products, the Amika Curl Core gel and cream <laughs> i forgot what it was for a second i've been trying so many different curling products and i have not tried one other product that actually makes my hair look this good and gives me the exact curly effect that i want and so i'm basically crowning these two hair products officially as my current favorite curly hair products <laughs> let me show you what they look like so here they are we've got the defining cream and then we have the enhancing gels. Now, if you want to see a complete in-depth process of how I actually use these products and get my hair to look like this, I did film an entire video going through my entire 20 step process of my curly hair. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. But just to kind of sum it up, I put the cream in first, the gel in second, and uh, I diffuse my hair. And then this is the final result. This is actually very fresh. I just did this about an hour ago. So the curls are looking A++. And yeah, these are officially my favorite curl products. I don't think I could live without them, <laughs> not to be dramatic. So while I'm in my bedroom, I figured I would show you another favorite of mine, which is this brand new duvet cover that I recently got. And it was honestly not the most exciting duvet cover. It's really just like, a plain white fabric, but I have been looking for a plain white duvet cover for a while. I've been a little bit nervous to pull the trigger because duvet covers are expensive and I wanted to make sure that I was getting something that would be super soft, that would feel great, and that would last really well. And um, after sleeping with this guy for a couple weeks, I can officially say that I really love this duvet cover and I wanted to mention in case anybody was looking for a nice company to purchase from. And so I got this from the brand Cotton, K-O-T-N. I did a lot of research and this brand seemed to have some really good reviews and I'm really happy that I ended up going with them because I think that this duvet cover is beautiful. It's a really, really soft duvet cover. It feels very hotel-esque, which I love. Um, and it's been great. So I just wanted to mention in case anybody was looking for a great duvet cover, this is wonderful. And while I'm also in my bedroom and my nightstand is right here, I also wanted to mention a book that I've been loving. This is the current book that I'm reading. It's called A Secret History of Witches. I actually bought this totally on a whim. I have not heard anybody talk about this. I was just browsing the bookstore one day and this just caught my eye and I purchased it, not even really reading what it was about. And I gotta say, I'm very pleasantly surprised with this book and I've been really enjoying it. Like I've genuinely been looking forward to my reading sessions before going to sleep. So this book is essentially about um, a line of witches and each section of the book kind of goes through each generation. If you're a little bit witchy and you enjoy stories about witches, <laughs> then you may really like this. So check it out. It's a good read. Right now I am about halfway or so, a little bit less than halfway, I'm right over here. Got this much to go. The next thing that I wanted to show you guys is actually something that I have been so looking forward to talking about in one of these like favorite vlogs. These candles right over here from Mala the brand are probably the best candles I have ever gotten my hands on. They are so good that I have not just one, not two, <laughs> not just three, but four, five and six. So yeah, maybe I went a little bit crazy for these candles. Self-care, you know? I was just really excited and amped up to not only support a product that I really, really loved, but also a woman owned small business based in Vancouver that just creates awesome, awesome, awesome products. I'll go through all of the scents that I have, but I will say if there's one that you need to purchase, it is cereal. I have never smelled a candle that I've loved so much as much as this guy over here. This literally smells like Fruit Loops, but not in like a sickly sweet, nauseating way, in a very nostalgic, but still kind of luxurious 
way. My boyfriend and I are so obsessed with it. Like we have to light it every single night and every single time we light it, it fills the entire room with this gorgeous scent. And when you leave the room and come back, you just like stop for a moment and just like inhale it because it just smells so good. And again, it just has this really delicious, like cozy, nostalgic feel to it. So if you want your house to smell like luxury Fruit Loops, they also come in two different wick styles. They come in a wooden wick and a cotton wick. I got all of mine in a wooden wick, which I've never had before. I've never had any candles with, with wooden wicks. And it's really cute because it kind of sounds like a mini campfire. I'll light one for you guys so you can actually hear what it sounds like because it's really nice. So cereal is definitely my ultimate favorite. Silk definitely comes pretty close. This was the original one that I got. It's really hard for me to pinpoint exactly what this one smells like. If you look on their website, you'll be able to get all of the notes of their candles and it gives you a pretty good idea, but it just smells good. That's the only way I can describe it. But let me show you the other scents that I have. Milk and sugar literally smells like milk and sugar. There's no other way to describe it, but it's not sickly sweet. Again, it's just that perfect balance. Delicious. Meringue. Smells like lemon meringue pie. Honestly, mimosa is probably my least favorite that I got. It's just not really my favorite scent profile. It's a little bit too fruity for my liking, but it's still delicious and I'm still definitely good to use it. It's just more of like a fresh fruity scent. Fireside is another really cozy scent. This really reminds me of men's cologne, but again, and not in an overpowering way. So all beautiful, all would highly recommend. Cereal is my number one favorite, but Everything is a good decision from this brand. Okay, lit cereal. Listen to the nice relaxing noises. I don't know why it's so relaxing to me. Let's talk jewelry. So you know when you find yourself starting to give in to a trend that you never thought you would give in to? That's kind of what happened to me with like chunky jewelry i would say for like at least five years now i've basically really been just like a dainty jewelry type of gal and right now i'm seeing a lot of like chunkier and more colorful pieces on trend right now so i'm not quite at the super colorful jewelry but i am really into right now the very chunky jewelry especially like chunky chains so i wanted to talk about not just one but two of my current favorite chains and how i actually like to wear them so Right now I'm wearing one of my favorite chains from Jenny Bird. Actually, both of these are from Jenny Bird. And so this is what this one looks like. I almost feel like it kind of looks like mini handcuffs, <laughs> which is really interesting, but I just really think it's fun and edgy and I really love layering it with crew neck shirts or sweaters. I just feel like it kind of dresses it up a little bit and gives it a little bit of like a edgier vibe. And I haven't really worn like silver jewelry again in a really long time. Like I'm mainly, a gold jewelry person, but with these chunky chains, I just really like the silver because I just feel like it, it's a little bit edgier, whereas gold is sometimes a little bit classier looking, you know? But what I've actually really been loving is layering two different style chains together in two different metal tones. So we have this silver guy, and then I have this braided gold chain also from Jenny Bird. So typically when I layer my necklaces, I like to make sure that they're sitting at different lengths so that you can actually tell them apart because I hate it when necklaces just tangle up into each other and then they just look like a tangled mess. And sometimes it's hard to avoid that, but one way to do that is just to have different lengths. And also heavier jewelry typically doesn't tangle as easy as like dainty jewelry too. So that's also nice. So I'm gonna put this at the tightest loop and it just sits right above my silver chain. And I just feel like that just, automatically made my sweatshirt look just a little bit cooler. <laughs> no, just me? Okay. So this has definitely been a big, big favorite of mine lately. So now let's talk deodorant. And this portion of the video is in partnership with Native. I've been working with Native, as you guys know, for a really long time. And I love working with them because they really are my favorite deodorant, especially my favorite aluminum free deodorant. It's one of the very few that I find actually checks all the boxes for me. It's effective. It smells really great and it doesn't leave any sticky white residue. Native is also power bin and sulfate free as well as cruelty free and vegan. Now I typically have like two, sometimes even three native deodorants in use at the same time, which I know sounds a little bit crazy, but I've gotten like really into their scents and I almost use their scents 
as a perfume sometimes because they really do smell not super strong but definitely strong enough where you can smell it on your body and so i typically will match the deodorant that i'm wearing with my mood so because spring is here and it's actually starting to warm up finally i have gone back to one of my favorite like spring summer deodorant scents which is cucumber and mint this one is so delicious because it's not super intense in the fragrance but it just smells really nice and fresh which is exactly what i want for my deodorant like i don't want it to be overpowering i just want to smell good and this helps me smell good now, as always i have a code for you guys if you are interested in trying out native you can get three deodorants which are typically 36 dollars for 24 dollars which is 33 percent off using my code jamie p5 and if you want to try out the native body wash or toothpaste you can get that for 20 percent off using the same code the body washes are also really nice they have a lot of the same fragrances that they have in their deodorants so you could kind of like match them up so you can twin with your deodorant and your body wash which is kind of fun if you're wondering my favorite body wash scent from them is citrus musk and vanilla and coconut so i just spent the last 15 minutes um unapologetically singing to charlotte Cardin. and so i figured hello gotta show you guys her music because it is definitely a huge favorite of mine i have not been able to stop listening to her her voice i would give a lot of things to be able to sing just point blank just be able to sing because i can't sing but to be able to sing like charlotte <laughs> you love me because of the fact that i'm meaning i have to burn everything that i want just to come back like a feeling Okay, honestly, just every song on the album. Yeah, go listen. So I am actually with my mom right now and I thought it could be kind of fun for her to share some of her favorites um, because she is a lot. <laughs> and I know you guys love seeing Mama Paige, so here she is. And action. Hi. So um, we're sitting at my makeup table. So why don't we start with something new that I just discovered that I really love. I always say this wrong. The Ola Henderson. Ola Henderson. It's like a primer and it brightens your skin. Anyways, that ran out and I didn't rebuy it right away. And I just started using this Milani. It's called Bright Side. It seems to be the exact same thing as the other thing. It's a primer, it has vitamin C in it, but when you put this on after you moisturize and stuff, you get this gorgeous glow and you don't even have to put anything else on after it. Like I've put on blush maybe, or just nothing. I actually had my mom say to me, what's on your face, it's so nice. And I had nothing on but this. Also what I'm loving when you're, it's like a no makeup makeup day, believe it or not, it's this, it's the glow screen super goop um, sun protector. First of all, you don't feel like you have anything on your face, but because there's a little bit of tint in it, it actually evens out your skin. It gives you this gorgeous glow and it looks like you're wearing like a beautiful foundation that's just glowy and light when actually you're protecting your face and it's amazing. I'm glowing. The Brio Geo Be Kind Banana and Coconut Nourishing Shampoo. I'm telling you, I use this and my hair is bouncy and clean for like three or four days. It's bizarre. I didn't think it really was anything great when I got it, but I see a huge difference. So I'm loving this. Okay, so this I saw on an Instagram ad. You love your Instagram ad. I love ads. my Instagram, but I'm, I'm very careful now because I got burnt once, I bought a bra and ugh, it was a whole scam. Anyways, <laughs> don't ever do that, but this was good. It's called Lost Rounds. They're reusable cotton rounds like you know like you use a cotton pad to take off your makeup this is hard when you first hold it you wet it and it's a basically a cotton round so you could take your makeup off with it you could use any cream or makeup remover you want and then you just clean this with a little bit of soap put it back in here and voila you're not using up cotton you're not throwing it in the garbage there's no waste and you could reuse it hundreds and hundreds of times wow. it's phenomenal so it's the end of the day i am back home and i'm sitting in my closet and i want to show you guys two clothing favorites to finish off this video so the first thing that i want to show you guys is this little sweat set 
from a brand called Stay. This is also a Montreal based brand. I got this beautiful sweat set from them. I have this crew neck sweatshirt and then I also have these sweat shorts. First of all, the color is amazing. It's a light sage color. I also have the same set, but in this really beautiful purple that I love, but it's just in the wash right now. Um, the green is probably my favorite though. It's just such a pretty, almost like relaxing color. All the pieces are actually hand dyed and the quality is amazing. Like I find that the quality of this sweatshirt is far better than most of the sweatshirts that I have in my collection and it's just so soft and cozy. So here's what both pieces look like. You are able to hike these shorts up to make them high-waisted, which I do also really like because then I kind of like tuck the sweatshirt in and it actually makes for a pretty cute outfit. And pockets. As far as sizing goes, I'm a medium in the top and bottom. I feel like the medium is a little bit oversized on me, which I do prefer, but just keep that in mind. If you find that we're kind of similar sizing, you may want to size down if you do want something a little bit more fitted, but the shorts fit me perfectly and I wouldn't go bigger or smaller. The next thing that I want to talk about is actually bras, um, which I know is super random, but I recently revamped my entire bra collection and I didn't really want to get bras from the same places that I always got bras before. I wanted to try a new brand and a brand that I've heard about a lot, especially on Instagram, and I've always been intrigued to try is Cup, spelled C-U-U-P. And so I decided to just take a shot and order a bunch of their bras and I love them. So I got a couple of bras from them in a bunch of different styles and I was just really impressed with the quality of the bra and how well they fit. Honestly guys, I feel like these are probably the best quality bras I've ever tried or put on my body. They just feel very luxurious. If you're somebody who likes low padding in their bras, then you would probably like a lot of their styles. Most of their styles don't really have a ton of padding. I think I got pretty much one of each. A lot of the other ones that I have are actually in the wash, but the only other one that I have here is this black one, which is somewhat similar to this guy, but this is a balconette and this is, I think, I don't know, like a triangle shape. So if you're looking for new bras, cup is really awesome and definitely worth checking out all right guys so that is it for today's favorites vlog i hope that you enjoyed seeing some of the things that i've been loving as well as my mom apparently uh, let me know in the comments your thoughts on everything that i spoke about today and any favorites that you want to share with me hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye